Hey, this is Yukiko from the Jersey Shore, and today, hey, pay attention and listen to me. Well, doesn't that always bring back a lot of memories, and then you want to resist? You don't feel like listening when someone says that? So today, i like to talk about one of the most important ingredients for you to succeed in your personal life and business and have great rapport with the people you work with, that is to learn to listen. Now, listening isn't just about listening to the words and being able to repeat what someone's saying verbatim. Listening is about, well, how do you find out if you really are listening or not. It shows up in how you implement what you heard in your daily life and in your business. So if you are listening to a lecture and if you are open-minded, you, are, you want to learn, that's kind of easier, isn't it? You think. So you learn, take notes, you don't interrupt with many questions. Have you interrupted with many questions when someone is trying to teach you and coach you something? Well, anyways, so you take notes, you kind of digest it, internalize it, and then you begin to use what you think you heard. And then it always has to be adjusted because... You know, we never go from point A to the destination goal in a straight line. It always goes a little bit, something happens, you kind of start to put your own ingredient and your ideas. It could be good or bad, but it goes that way and then you have to always adjust it. So it's never a one-time thing that I'm going to just listen and do it. But the most important thing is about, listening is really about non-judgment. Listening is about letting go of your own ego and become humble enough to learn and try a new way. And then it happens all the time. Actually, the first time I heard about learning to listen well, is about the change agent, the course I was taking at uh, Columbia, graduate course, and I was learning about administrator um, in school systems, a change agent. And then I would go into, people would go into to businesses or organizations to try to change it because they know it all. The first thing they are bombarded with is resistance. Nobody wants to listen to you. Nobody is interested in what you have to say. Why? Because you ignore what the organization is, the culture of the place, and who the people are. This applies to business too, doesn't it? You can't just bombard people with what you want to sell, what you want to say, why it is the greatest products you want to sell. You see it all the time on Facebook and social media nowadays. People are like saying, you know, do this, like from a superior attitude. So come visit me in my blog, Transform with Yukiko. Click the link below. It's a new blog site, by the way. Check it out. And let's explore why we need to listen to great ideas and resources available without being overwhelmed and without getting sucked into somebody else's agenda. Here's Yukiko. Have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching this video. And Click the link below and come visit me in my blog.
transformwithyukiko.com.